Hello everyone, it's Reverend Joel here. I hope you're all doing okay. I can't believe it's nearly the end of term already. Today's your last day, right, of term and the summer holidays just around the corner, which is really exciting. Now, I wonder if you know what you're going to do over the summer holidays. Some of you might be going on holiday somewhere. Some of you might be going for some days out with your family. Some of you might be spending time with friends. Lots to look forward to over the summer holiday. But also, it's a bit of a sad time as well, the end of the school year, because we say bye-bye to uh, our year sixes as they think about going up to big school and all of those different feelings and those thoughts. And uh, some of you will be going up into new classes next year, September, and it's just going to be different. And so we're going to think a little bit about that today uh, in our assembly. I look forward to being able to see you in person in September, those of you who are still in school, uh, in Sad School. And um, yeah, so at the moment, I'm still recording an assembly for you uh, here online. So what, are the, what I'd like us to think about uh, is this little uh, title here, Everyone's Welcome. Everyone's Welcome. And I want us to think about that for a, a little bit today everyone is welcome now i've got a little question for you uh, to think about um and it's this one what is the church what is the church if i was to if i was there with you right now and i was asked to ask you to tell me what do you think the church is i wonder what you'd say maybe you'd say it's an old building Maybe you might say uh, it's um, where a group of people meet uh, to pray, to talk to God, to sing, to hear about God. Maybe you think it's somewhere people go to be quiet and have some space. I don't know. What do you think of when you think of the church? What is the church? That's something else I want us to think about. And so I'm thinking about what is church and uh, everybody is welcome. And so we're going to be thinking about these things and it will become more clear as we go along. OK, so we're going to keep that in our mind. What is the church? Now, I wonder if you can help me just for a minute. What do people sometimes put at their front doors? You know, if, if you go to someone's house, sometimes right on the floor, uh, as you go into the house, sometimes outside, sometimes inside, people put something on the ground and basically you can wipe your feet on it. Do you know what one of them is called? That's it. It's a mat, a welcome mat. Look, here we go. There's a, a, a welcome mat, uh, uh, a, a mat that exists to show people that they are welcome into our houses because we love it when people visit us. It's a welcome. And so we're going to be thinking about that a little bit. Welcome and the welcome mat. Got another question for you now. Uh, so we've thought about welcome mat. Now, I'm, I'm wanting to work out what something else is. So think about this. What am I? I'm a picture, a picture broken up into lots of pieces and then you put the pieces together to create the picture again. They normally come in a box and you can see the picture on the box. What are they called? Do you know what I'm talking about? That's it. It's a jigsaw or a puzzle, a jigsaw puzzle. And uh, here is our jigsaw puzzle picture. And you can see that there's a piece missing. Uh, the puzzle is missing a piece. Maybe we'll find that piece of the puzzle later. So we've got a welcome mat. We've got a puzzle with a missing piece. And our last quest, well, no, not our last question, but the uh, third thing we're thinking about uh, is uh, uh, this question, okay? What is a giant round ball that shows us what the world looks like? What is a giant round ball that shows us what the world looks like? What do you think? That's right. 
It's a globe, the globe, uh, the globe. Everyone lives on the globe. You and I live on the globe. Our school is on the globe in a tiny little bit of uh, a bit of the world called the United Kingdom, and in a tiny little bit of the United Kingdom, Wales, and in a tiny little bit of that, Pembrokeshire, and a tiny, tiny little bit of that, Southchester. So we're thinking about the welcome mat, the puzzle, and the globe. Everyone is welcome. And we can think about that from the book of Acts in the Bible. Uh, the Bible has 66 books in it. And one of those books is called Acts. And we're going to watch a video now about a story from Acts. And let's listen really carefully because it's a really important story. Everybody's welcome. Cornelius was an officer in the Roman army. He lived in a place called Caesarea. He and his family respected God. They weren't Jewish. They were Gentiles. Cornelius had a vision. An angel told him, God hears your prayers and knows that you help the poor. Send men to Joppa to bring Peter here. So Cornelius did. In Joppa the next day, Peter was on the roof praying. In a vision, a huge sheet came from heaven. It was filled with animals. A voice said, kill something, Peter, eat. They were animals that Jews weren't allowed to eat. I can't eat them, Peter replied. If I say they're all right to eat, the voice replied, then they're all right. That's when Cornelius's messengers arrived. So Peter and some others went with them to Caesarea. Cornelius's house was filled with his friends and family, eager to hear Peter speak. God showed me, in a vision, that he accepts people from every nation. God sent Jesus to everyone. He is Lord of all. He healed the sick and freed the oppressed. He was crucified and then raised from the dead. Everyone who believes in him will have their sins forgiven the Holy Spirit came upon them, just like Pentecost. Peter baptized them. Wow, interesting story, isn't it? Peter and Cornelius, lots of interesting things going on in that, uh, in those events. Couple of things for us to uh, think about the, in the story. Did you notice Peter and Cornelius were very, very different? Peter was Jewish. He'd come from a Jewish background and Cornelius was a Roman. And they were very, very different. They had different backgrounds. Uh, Peter had grown up following God, worshipping God. Cornelius hadn't. Cornelius was from a very different kind of background. And I guess the question we've got to ask ourselves is, did God love both of those people, do you think? from what you can see in that story. Did God love both of them? Of course, the answer is yes. God loved both Peter and Cornelius. Uh, Peter and Cornelius, both of them, were part of God's family because they loved and trusted in Jesus Christ. Both of them were part of God's family because they loved and trusted in Jesus. And even though they were from totally different backgrounds, they were both welcomed into God's family. And that's really important. And I would like us to learn a Bible verse together. I don't know if you learn many Bible verses, but I've got a really simple one for us to learn. And it's going to help us answer this question that we were thinking about. What is the church? And the Bible verse for us is this one. It comes from the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 3 and verse 15. And it's the family of God is the church. 
the family of God is the church. Now, I wonder if you can try and do that with me. Say that with me out loud if you can. The family of God is the church. The family of God is the church. That is such an amazing thing for us to try and remember. The family of God is the church. That's what the church is. The church is God's family. It's God's people, the people who love God and worship God. God's family is the church. The church is God's family. And the amazing thing about the church being God's family is we are all welcome. God sent Jesus for everyone. We are all welcome into God's family. If we trust in Jesus, we are in God's family. And it's amazing because we are all welcomed. We are all welcome. And I guess that the question that I'd like to ask us is, how can we welcome people? How can we welcome people? And so as we go into the summer holidays and then we think about next school year in September, we're going to have new people coming to the school. How can we welcome them? Just like God welcomes us into his family, how can we welcome people into the school, uh, into our school family? And also, um, as for those of you year sixes, as you go on to your new school, you'll be wanting your new school to welcome you, to make you part of the new family of that school. And remember as well, everybody else in your class uh, in September is in exactly the same position as you going into, someone new, into somewhere new. And you can all welcome each other. We can be a welcoming people. And that is really important. So how can we welcome people? Next, what did we think about at the beginning that has lots of pieces that we put together to make the picture? Do you remember? Yes, that's it. Of course it was. It's the jigsaw. The puzzle, a jigsaw puzzle, is only going to be full and complete when it's got all the pieces in it. A puzzle is only going to be complete when it's got all the pieces in it. So that puzzle has got a piece missing. Can you see? It's got a piece missing. I wonder if we can find it. There! Ah, good. I think we found uh, the piece of that puzzle. So let's see if we can uh, see if we can stick it into the uh, puzzle just a minute. Hold on. There we are. The puzzle is complete. Look, and it's Jesus's face in the middle of the puzzle. Jesus's face in the middle of the puzzle. It's a picture of jesus everyone who trusts in and follows jesus has a special place in god's family that's what we christians believe that's what we believe in the church just like the puzzle piece has a special place in the jigsaw we all have a special uh place in god's family because god welcomes us and each of you has a special place in the life of the school even if you're uh, just about to leave to go to secondary school, you will always have a place in the life and heart of the school because it's all been a part of your life. And all of you, are tr it's for, true for all of you, If even if you're coming back in September and for those who are starting in September for the first time, you're all going to play an important part in the jigsaw that is the school. And then uh, another question what is the church do you remember what we said the church was what is the church the church is god's family the church is god's family now i wonder can you remember the bible verse again can you remember it the family of god is the church the family of god is the church 
And we'll try that one more time. The family of God is the church. So then what about the globe? Because so we've thought about the welcome uh, mat. We've thought about the jigsaw. What about the globe? Mm. This is how big God's family is. The size of the globe. Everyone in, in the whole wide world who trusts in Jesus is part of God's family. God's family isn't just the size of like a family like that we live together in a house. God's family can be found all across the world. God's family is all across the globe. So, uh, yes, that's what about the globe. So, do you recognise this building? Of course you do. Are we welcoming and are we a family here in school? There you are, that's our school. So we'll have new pupils in September, when we coming in, as we've been thinking about. We've got new schools and new friends for some of you. We can pray for and welcome back our old school friends. That's a way of us um looking after those who are who are leaving us in now and joining a new school in september we're going to pray for you and we'll want to welcome you back whenever you want to come and visit us and uh, i'm always around uh, if you want to get in contact with uh, the vicar and the church as well you can phone one another you can talk to one another even when uh, you've left the school and you've, if you've still got friends in the school, you can pick up the phone and talk to them uh, with uh, your grown-ups permission. We can think about each other and be kind to each other. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully you will have received uh, from me and fr uh, from the church, those of you in year six, a special little book um, that I'm hoping Mr. Lopez has given you. Uh, or will be giving you, uh, because that is a gift from us in the church to you to help you think about the next stage of your school life in secondary school. And I just want you all to remember as you go into the summer holidays, whether you're leaving the school now or whether you're coming back in September, remember that God loves you. God loves you. And Jesus loves you and he wants to be your friend. And I want you to know that as you go into all these new experiences as we go into the next school year. He welcomes you no matter how you are feeling because our God is a great big God. And we're going to listen to that song now. And if you remember it from when I've uh, uh, sung it with you before, uh, you can probably sing too, I, I think, uh, in, in school. Uh, we're going to listen to the song now. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. And he holds us in his hand. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, our God is a great big God, and he holds us in his hand. He's higher than a skyscraper, and he's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe, and beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me, and he's loved me, since before the world began.
since before the world began How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan Our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God And He holds us in His hand Our God is a great big God our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God And He holds us in His hands Our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God And He holds us in His hands And He holds us in His hands And He holds us in His hands our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands and he wants to be our friend and look after us in all that we end up doing. So we're going to pray now. Uh, I'm going to pray for you. Uh, so uh, maybe let's uh, close our eyes and put our hands together and let me uh, pray for you. Dear God, thank you so much for our school. Thank you so much for our teachers, for the staff uh, and for one another. And God, we thank you for this year. We thank you for keeping us safe. Uh, and uh, Lord, we pray for all of those who are leaving the school uh, the, uh, today and going on to a uh, big school in September. Lord, please help them. Please be close to them. Uh, may they go with excitement and uh, please do look after them. And please look after all of us during the summer holidays. And may we come back to school safely uh, in September. Amen. Amen. If uh, Let's uh, say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Well, it's been amazing to be able to spend this time with you today. Thank you so much for being uh, so good and listening so well. Uh, I look forward to seeing most of you in September uh, when you come back. Those of you year sixes uh, as you leave, I really hope you have an amazing summer, an amazing time in secondary school. Don't forget, Reverend Joel, me, I'm always uh, around. So uh, if you want uh, to get in touch or you want to ask your parents to get in touch with me, that would be absolutely fine. Know that you go with our prayers and I do hope you have a wonderful time. Uh, you, if any of you, I don't know which schools it is you're going to secondary school. I don't know if anybody's going to Harry Tudor uh, in Pembroke. Uh, if you are, you have seen Jeremy in that uh, Our God is a Great Big God video. And Jeremy, who came into school with me a number of times before COVID, um, Jeremy will also be spending quite a bit of time in Harry Tudor. So do look out for him in September and do say hello to him and say that you're from Sagerston School and you remember him. Okay, everyone, God bless you. Have a wonderful summer, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!